Hi everyone, happy December. I am back and we are shipping eBay today. It is December 11th. And you would just think I would be able to just pop on here for just a few minutes and do this. But honestly, life has just been crazy. I am going to log into eBay and see what sold. Now, <laughs> I did a trick. Today's Sunday, so I'm shipping tomorrow, Monday, which I have to schedule a pickup still. But yesterday, I realized that somebody had asked me to ship their item by Monday morning. And I was like, I think I can do that. I have three days, but I should have it in the mail Monday. But they said by Monday. So yesterday, I, yesterday, Saturday, I thought to myself, I should try to get that in the mail. But it was already at like 3 p.m., so I like printed out the label and I didn't package the item, but I went to the mailbox just to see if the mail had gone and the mail had gone. So I already printed the label or I thought I did, but I have to go into my downloads and reprint the label. So like I already weighed it and did all of that, but I should just cut all this out, but I'm not going to. So this is headed to Oregon. So let's print this label and I'll show you what they purchased. And I changed my ink to toner, which HP toner for my printer is $400. So I made the big decision, big decision of buying the aftermarket one for $125 and like fishing out the little chip from the toner cartridge and tricking HP. And I think it worked because it looked seems like we have we have ink now okay so this person purchased five vintage trifari I don't think I've ever said that aloud um, brooches now some of them might have brought 15 to 20 dollars a piece but probably not all of them I think I had them listed for I had them listed a long time 84.99 and I sent an offer for like probably 65 ish don't quote me on that. Um, and then they sent an offer back and I hate offers that come back. I almost always turn that option off, but I must have forgotten about it. So there's the six brooches for $50. And I was like, you know what? These have set probably, I said set, they've, they've sit, they've, they've set, sat, they've sat in my store for over a year and nobody else had so it's just like, I'll take the $50. So I'm going to package these. I'm wondering if I should package them. Maybe I'll package them all in one box. And we're gonna do like one of these thicker boxes, the three by three by two boxes. And if you hear anything in the background, my husband is playing the guitar. And I said that like that because he has been so, so sick. So sick and he's still kind of sick but for him to be playing the guitar I could almost weep seriously I <laughs> he's so sick okay so as we package these um, maybe I'll try to just do like one per row that way they really won't get scratched up so he's been if you don't know my husband we've been married 20 years we live in Florida I'm a part-time I would say full-time but I haven't listed anything forever um, eBay seller. So I've been selling on eBay on and off, mostly on, for about 22 years. So a long time. My mom also sells on eBay and my sister helps my mom with photographing and listing now, which she just started listing. I think she's going to be great at it. Highly. So he's been having abdomen pain, like abdomen pain. I had my gallbladder out. Everybody thought it was a gallbladder. Gallbladder was checked 4,000 times. We have a stack of paperwork. They did CTs, MRIs. I'm going to put a Merry Christmas sticker on to hold this in place. All the tests, a swallow test, barium swallow. I could, I could go on and on. They did test. No gallbladder. Gallbladder's fine. They thought maybe it was his pancreas because of the numbers. Okay. It's my favorite time of year. My second favorite time of year for tissue paper. I am in love with Jills and Robert tissue paper. I gift it to a lot of people. Like anytime I go to the doctor's office or just like anything, they always get eye patches. I have got a gajillion of these, pop them in the fridge. 
and tissue paper because I have a lot of it and I like to share it. It's good tissue paper. So these were some of the holiday prints, some. Um, so we'll see which ones we use today, but I wanted to show them off. Look at that one with the trees on the cars. I have my phone <laughs> blue taped, like blue pages taped to my tripod because my camera, you would think I would just have time to do this. I don't, it's still, it, it has, it's just, I, that's where that's going. That is not a now problem. That's what I say all the time now. That is not a now problem. This is probably, this is definitely my favorite print of the holiday season. It's a watercolor with like a gold sparkle in like vintage ornaments. Oh, I'm obsessed with this one. This one was also really good, but this one had like a, a smoothness to it. And this one has a little bit of a coarseness, but the ombre tree, oh, so pretty. Jolson Roberts, you killed it. This was one of their older prints. I just had a few sheets left. It's really pretty. I'm just not going on and on about it because I've had it for years. This was another one. I thought it was going to be a different colorway on Amazon, which I think is where I ordered it because the Jilson Roberts website was just so backed up and it was just hard to get anything. The colors looked lighter and brighter and this was going to be like for my pastel theme and it wasn't. It was more even on camera, like the purple looks really purple on camera, but in person, eh, not so, I don't know, I, like this part's green. And I guess you could see that, but in person, I don't know. I just wasn't as thrilled. It's still really pretty. This one is an older print, the Scandinavian. This is navy blue with snowflakes. For my Patreon group who got the um, rewards, I have a group of people with monthly subscriptions to tissue paper. And then this is more classic. In November, I went with the classic print. So I don't think like more of, I don't think these were the exact tissue papers, but possibly like more of this. And then in, I didn't pull the rest of them. I don't know why I didn't pull the rest of them. Um, if I have pictures, I'll throw them up. In December, we did like more pastel watercolor prints. So I have to choose a print. I'm gonna go for the blue snowflake just because I haven't used it at all this year. And I only have a couple, couple of sheets left. I think I have five more sheets after this. So I will sadly be done with this print this season probably. So test, test, test. In September, he was feeling so poorly. He started to cancel music gigs. And my husband's a musician. He loves to sing. Even our performances were too much for him. So we needed to start canceling things. And we have backups. We have people that can, he didn't need to actually cancel. He just called and let the, the facility, the retirement community know that somebody else was gonna be there. And everybody was fine with that. So we brought him to the hospital, the local hospital, which is not my favorite hospital. Every time we go there, it's close though. And when you need a hospital, you need a hospital. Um, we always walk out and like, that is not our favorite place. So they take his blood, his lipase, L-I-P-A-S-E, not sure how to pronounce that, lipase level comes back at 700, which I means nothing to me. You could have told me it would have been 4,000. I have no idea, no concept of what a lipase level, other than I knew it was the pancreas and the gallbladder. So the doctor walks in, they put an IV, he didn't black out, he's got basal vagal, he didn't black out, did great. Champ, they're like, you're really dehydrated. And we're like, yeah, we really know he's not eating, like hardly at all, It's he's stomach pain. So, so the light pace level 700. I'm like, what is it supposed to be? He's like, well, like a hundred. So we're like, it's seven times the level of where it's supposed to be. And he's like, yeah, that's probably not good. You should follow up with your family doctor. We're gonna discharge you. And Bear and I were like, you're gonna discharge us? Isn't there something else you can do? Like even fluids? And he's like, yeah, but the hospital's busy and you could orally take fluids. So like, we didn't question it. We were like, okay, that's definitely not our favorite hospital anyway. Okay, a few new business cards. This one is double-sided, my very first 
like fully double-sided. Sometimes they have little things on the back, but this one, you'll see. It says, well, I know what it says. I'm gonna have to look, because this is not my regular saying. And now it's upside down. Okay, it says, if it costs you your mental health, it is too expensive. So that's what that one is. And then on the back, it says you are enough, but look at the print. I'm so shaky. I loved that so much. And I love that like this one's like more classic with the gold foil. And then this one's like fun. And then the other one, um, I purchased the clip art for both of these. So the artist got paid. This one says you are enough. And it was originally in a blue, so I recolored it. So it was in pink to match the pastel. And then on the back, again, will I be able to read what this says? It says, never forget how wildly capable you are. So I liked that one. So this person will get both of these. And Polly Mallers. Oh, that one kind of matches. This one isn't Christmas, but I pulled it because it matches the pastels really prettily. So we have those. We have some mittens. Again, I had probably two dozen different poly mailers for Christmas, but some classic snowflakes and the red and white peppermint. And I think I'm going to go with the red and white peppermint, which doesn't match this at all, but it's so fun. You know what I can do? So he discharges and says to follow up with the family doctor. Well, family doctor is booked like weeks out. So we get an appointment. I tell them came home from the hospital, can we get an appointment, weeks out, we're like, okay, we decide. This is a big decision for my husband. If you know my husband, he's six foot six, he used to be 250 pounds, he dropped about like 60 pounds, he's so thin right now. But he's okay, he's, he's okay, he's alive. Um, and I swear I'm not making this more dramatic, it was really dramatic in person, I'm making it less dramatic. And I already weighed this, so I don't actually have to print the label, which is why I stuck the label on. So thank you so much, Shang. Um, so we decided to make the trip to Tampa Hospital because it's one of the better hospitals in the area. We've never been there. It's like an hour, hour and a half from us. So we packed up just in case they're going to admit him because we came home and Googled blood pace levels and realized it was probably his pancreas or gallbladder, which is what we thought for the last year. So we get there his lipase is 50. We're like, what? And they're like, yeah, that's perfectly low average, like fine, low, but so we told them we didn't have a printout because the hospital didn't give us a printout. I couldn't get my hands on a printout from the last hospital, but they believed us and they looked at his gallbladder with a, I just guess an ultrasound maybe. They were really busy too, hospitals around here, but she believed us. She was great. The hospital was great. And she said, his gallbladder does look shrunken. I haven't showed you this. I'm so out of sorts. I'm so sorry. This is a ring. Is this the right ring? I don't think I pulled the right ring. This is not the right ring. This ring is available for sale, but this is not the right ring. <laughs> this is a purple stone. It looks like this, but has a black stone. So we will skip that. And we will move on to... The J. Crew Smoky Necklace. This is heavy. I heard on TikTok, now don't quote me on this, um, that statement necklaces are gonna make a comeback this year. And I have so many good ones. This one, seriously, like the weight on this. I'm gonna weigh it and it's gonna be like four ounces, which sounds like nothing, but it's heavy. It's four ounces. I swear I didn't, I didn't pre-weigh my jewelry. Um, it's heavy and it's nice. And I put that it had a flaw in the title. If something has a flaw, I always put flaw. I wonder what the flaw was. I don't know what the flaw is. Uh, oh, that's the only flaw. It has a distressed look to the chain and there's a tiny chip out of the top. This is real glass. Does it? I mean, it must. Oh yeah, oh wow, okay. Yeah, you can wear that for ages. But it is really pretty. And I sent an offer to Julie, hi Julie. That's the only item, um, for $7. Oh, she got a good deal. You got a good deal, Julie. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this necklace, I don't even wear jewelry. 
So we take him to Tampa. Tampa does everything, everything. They gave him fluids, thankfully, because they, he was just not eating and it was just everything was causing a lot of pain. So the woman who took care of him, I actually bought an Amazon gift card like right then and there and wrote it just like the code. And I know I probably shouldn't have done this. And <laughs> I gave her, I just had like an extra little business card or something. And I said, the code on the back, this is an Amazon gift card. I realize you probably can't accept it, but I'm just going to leave it here and walk away. And I did. So, because she was phenomenal. And I very much appreciated how she treated my husband and gave him fluids when the other hospital didn't. And supposedly he was dehydrated. So they check his gallbladder. It's shrunken, but like there's no gallstones. There's no anything that would warrant him being in the hospital. So we go to the family doctor like a week later. He's still having doubled over in pain. Now, we have pain meds. We have good meds. We both have good meds. And doubled over in pain every morning, every time he eats anything, every time he wakes up, every time. Just. So we go to the family doctor a week later. The family doctor said, oh no, that hospital should have immediately admitted you or at least rerun the blood work because that lipase level is crazily high. So he said, you should go to Tampa. And I said, ah, oh, we already went to Tampa. His lipase level was super low. So the doctor's baffled, we're all baffled. So he calls gastroenterologist to get in with him now. <laughs> we don't know what to do. We don't know what to do. He's still in major pain. So to get in with him now is gonna be like two weeks. So during that wait, I'm sorry about my boring story here. During that wait tr to try to get back in to see the gastroenterologist who we, we like it and ran all of the tests, we did everything right, family doctors did everything right, hospital should have admitted him, but whatever, a little mad about it. Um, we have to call 911. I have to freaking call 911. I, he's shaking. He looks like he's septic shock again. He's super pale. His oxygen was, I'm not even going to tell you, it was just bad. It was bad. His heart rate, everything was just bad. So we call, lights and everything. It's one, one two o'clock in the morning. They come. I've only had to ever call 911 once for us personally. Now I ran retirement community. So I called 911 all the time when somebody fell or was struggling in any kind of way. I'm going to give this person the same. I'm going to give them a slightly different card. They're going to get the penguin, you are enough card. But then they're also gonna get, which I designed myself, um, it says there is a past version of you that would be so proud of how far you've come. Oh, I love that saying. Um, it's like in a red sparkle. And like, I put the deer there, I put the snow there. I bought a package of um, digital artwork from, and it wasn't even much, it was like $20. And she gave you like all the layering, you could put the snow, the fox, the trees. I have that on my Patreon. Um, I think a few people used it for the holiday cards, but it was like 80 different pieces of clip art that were, you could layer. I was so excited about it. So, so we had to call 911, they get here. They couldn't find a temperature on him, which bears temperature is usually like 95, 96 if he's like really doing stuff, but usually about 95. They can't get it. I'm like, that's happened once before when he was in septic shock. So they wait, they warm him up. I warm him up, I lay on top of him. They're like, whatever you need to do, let's let's warm this guy up kind of thing because, because of how low everything was. So they warm him up. It took maybe, there might have been here 15 minutes, I don't know, six ounces. So she paid $7 for the necklace and $4.99 for shipping, probably because I realized how heavy it was. So $4.55 is my shipping cost for the six ounces and this is headed to California. So they warm him up, his stats start to be above 90% um, oxygen, his heart rate starts to slow. I'm sure just meds, we had tried to give him so many different meds. Um, all perfectly fine, nothing overdosey. But, so I'm sure they started to kick in, we warmed him up, they were like, okay, you can go to the hospital with us, or we would recommend going to the hospital, just in general, of course. So we did bring him to the hospital, but he didn't go on the ambulance. We have good insurance, but I know there are other people who could actually use an ambulance and I didn't want to tie up the ambulance. So, and I figured he'd probably want me there anyway. So we bring him to the hospital. 
hospital admits him. This is now our third hospital in like weeks. So we brought him to the other local hospital, which is downtown. We like this hospital better, but it's a little bit trickier to get to and a little bit longer, but no big deal. So he's there for five days, five days. They, it took three days to get to bed. So for three days, he was just in ER and for probably a full day, day and a half, he was just in the hallway. Like they're so busy down here. Thank you, Julie. But all the staff did a great job. So he gets to bed. They do an ERCP, which is basically an endoscope, but uh, a little bit. I'm not going to go into technical terms because I don't really know them. And I know people are, I don't want to. Anyway, so they do the endoscope, the ERCP. His gallbladder needs out. You guys, <laughs> his gallbladder needs out. Like so badly that the nurse said, I wouldn't be surprised if they send him home and scheduled an outpatient. I'm just cleaning sterling silver here. Um, an outpatient surgery because of how very busy we are. It's almost impossible to get into surgery. So we're like prepared for him to go home and then have to come back weeks later for an outpatient surgery. Oh no, no, they do the surgery. They do the surgery fast too. So it happens so fast after that. The doctor, the surgeon came in who we didn't know the admitting doctor. We didn't know the surgeon, but the surgeon is like, the guy for gallbladders so we've heard since then and he he's like starting to call out stuff and he's like we've got to get this guy into surgery they literally said no i'm standing there there is convulsing because we're pretty sure he had septic shock i haven't anyway it doesn't matter um the doctor says a room full of whatever because they're wheeling him into surgery as i'm there with him they wouldn't let me go past a certain point but they're like, this guy could die. Like, you don't tell the wife that. I mean, I'm fine, but like, what? we don't say these things, but I mean, I guess the surgeon was serious and I don't know. I liked the surgeon <laughs> a lot, <laughs> but uh, so anyway, they take him into surgery, get his gallbladder out. They had to put a stent in. He was in the hospital five days. That was the end of October. <laughs> now, I've had my gallbladder out. If you've had your gallbladder out, you know the pain which comes with a gallbladder being taken out. This says best mom ever, and it is a sterling silver charm or charm bracelet. I just put it on a little ribbon. So when you open the box, hopefully it doesn't fly. It's got a tiny little aqua box. This one has a shimmer to it. It's really pretty. So they get it out. They want to keep him overnight, of course. Bear doesn't want to get kept overnight. So I told him, I, I've got all the things. I've got the pulse up, so I've got, he's swallowing, he's going to the bathroom. We're going to keep him home. So they did discharge him. But Bear wasn't prepared to have his gallbladder out. We didn't know, so like we didn't really have anything ready in the house. Whew, he went through a lot of pain. Anybody that's had their gallbladder out will tell you, most likely there's a lot of pain. It was laparoscopically, but he had just had his prostate um, surgery, like just a few weeks before that. So like two surgery, he is still not doing great. Like he, he booked a gig, like a one hour gig that I had to drive him to last week. And he's been to one or two gigs by himself. But like we're six weeks past surgery and it's, I, I don't think it's a, the gallbladder anymore. I, I don't know what's up. So I still don't know if the gallbladder shrunk and went bad really quickly because I checked the gallbladder for the last year and everything was fine with the gallbladder until it wasn't. So they did a spinal MRI. He's got some things with his spine. They thought maybe it was coming from that. I don't know where he's eating. My husband, I, he's not like a really bad eater. We don't eat out ever. Like once a year we go out and eat something. We don't order fast food. We don't, we're just, I mean like, you know the foods I eat, you know us. Like we just don't do that. I, I take pleasure in food, but like a five-star restaurant, I'd rather have ramen noodles. So, so he's, he's not really ever eaten badly but like he would have a burger probably twice a week now was it a burger that we made with like lean beef yeah for sure but still but now he's eating eggs we made him eat eggs for a couple days to see if that helped the pain 
and it kind of did. And then we added like a multi-green bread, like a true multi-green bread. And he did okay with that. Then we added baked potatoes. So that's where he's at. We're trying to just see what variables we can we can get it down to. But he's still not doing great. So we'll see. We see the gastroenterologist on Tuesday. We just saw his family doctor and we just saw his pain doctor. So everybody agrees he needs to gain weight, first of all. And we need to figure out what the pain is. I still think the pain is coming from his pancreas. I still do. I don't know why his lipase levels are still elevated. There's things elevated. I'm going to do the mental health and we will do let your beautiful soul explode with happiness. So with the gallbladder surgery, Bear has never had any kind of anxiety. He's a six foot six white man who grew up in a town where everybody knew him. Like, not that that always means your mental health is going to be great, but like his mental health has always been really great. And as somebody that does have anxiety, I am glad. I am so glad. Anybody that doesn't know what true anxiety feels like, I, I'm so thrilled. Seriously, I would never wish that upon anybody. But the gallbladder coming out so quickly, it is two ounces. And this person paid... $12.99. Did they actually pay $12.99? I have a 20% off coupon, so I don't know if this was before. I was trying to, I think they paid $12.99, so this must have sold before the coupon um, or not been in the sale. This is headed to Jason in New Jersey, and uh, he paid $12.99 for the charm and $3.99. I still think he didn't pay that. I was trying to find the order details. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure he got this on sale. But anyway, let's say he did. Um, it's two ounces, which my cost is $3.98. The gallbladder needing to come out and everything happening so fast left him with some pretty severe anxiety after the gallbladder surgery to the point now I'm going to talk about panic attacks and anxiety a little bit because I have both and they are very different and it looks different probably for most people. His, at first, I would need to be with him 24 seven, like just knowing that. And I've had that before after a trauma, which I don't usually talk about at all ever because of how it changed me and broke me. Um, so I was sleeping in his bed, which we normally don't sleep together. I was, I was there 24 seven. He's now to the point where he can be in his room by himself and I can be out here. And like, like I said, he's even been to a few gigs by himself, which is awesome. Um, panic attacks were bad, but we're probably down to maybe like one or two a week as he moves further away and as he's starting to feel slightly better and slightly better, not that the initial problem has gone away. Thank you, Jason. Um, the gallbladder is gone and that pain has gone away, but I don't think it was the gallbladder. They checked it too much for it to be that. I think as he's getting a little bit better physically, he can get out of bed by himself. He's been walking a couple times around the community by himself. Like, I, I think he just didn't trust himself for a while, which is really sad. This is gorgeous. Um, this is J. Crew. I listed this yesterday, which was the first time I've listed anything in over two months. And this sold almost immediately. And I'm so glad it did. And Candace, I think I recognize you. Your username goes along with this, which I'll never say. Um, so nicely. Like, <laughs> I love this for you and I don't even know you, but it's a little bit worn. I saw the brand new one and it wasn't as pretty because this blue oval here has like a little bit of a, like a distressing to it. And it gave it like a mercury glass type of look. I don't know that it's going to capture it. It's, it's stunning. Like, oh, so pretty. Um, she paid $22.99, but again, I had that sale with 20% off. I think I still have it. So, 
So I'm going to say she didn't pay that, but I don't know how to figure that out. I can't find order details. I can't find anything. So we'll just pretend, I'm pretty sure she did anyway. Um, and she paid $3.99 for shipping and it's going to Nevada. And I have been to the town in Nevada where she is. And I don't think it's a huge town. Maybe it is. It's probably a huge town. Uh, pop population. Oh, yeah. No, it's a big town. <laughs> There's over 300,000 people. Never mind. Um, so the anxiety. So he's on medicine for that. And it's getting better, but not yet all of the way better but I think once anxiety happens once something triggers your anxiety I don't even know how to say what I'm going to try to say so give me a little bit of, of leeway here for me I had a one singular event six years ago that left me with panic attacks all day every day horrendous couldn't do anything for about nine months went to psychiatric doctors went to I I didn't want to close my eyes. It was bad. I don't have that kind of panic attack much anymore. I'm going to say maybe once a month, but I'm left with an anxiety knowing that something happened to me where my brain went further than I thought it could. I was in a spot mentally that you hear about. You hear about anxiety or depression or whatever, and those clearly aren't the same thing or whatever, mental illness. But until you experience it, which I hope nobody ever does, it, you can't, it's, it's, you just can't. So because I knew to what extent my brain broke and it flipped a switch and I will never be able to unknow anxiety, which I'd very much like to throw that switch back, please. I'm aware of what was happening. I was aware of what was happening to Bear, and I was very much aware that his brain didn't break to the point where it could have broken. And I, I don't know how to say that better because it was really bad for him. And again, I don't want anybody to ever experience anxiety or panic or anything bad, of course, nobody does. But because I had been through it and then some, I kind of knew I did okay. It didn't trigger my anxiety, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And I did okay overall and I knew what things to ask and how to help to an extent as much as I could. I could have just used that piece of paper. We're doing the trees again. I like the trees a whole lot. So... He does have some physical pain still. It's going across the band of the middle of his back, which again, South Pancreas. His lipase numbers are still too high, not 700. He's still having abdomen pain, but not the same kind. And it did get better in the gallbladder area. So that's where we're at. I'm not exactly sure. He doesn't want to plan anything like gigs or performances next year, which again, I totally get because he doesn't know how he's going to feel from day to day or hour to hour. And if you have chronic illness, you probably feel the same way. Like, would I love to plan Christmas next year? Of course, but I could wake up that day and be in horrendous pain or I could be almost fine and, and be able to travel. Like there's just, you almost have to live in the moment because things can change so quickly. So that's where he is. But because, because he wanted me with him, which was so highly unusual. Um, and of course I wanted to be with him. There was eBay shut down. Everything shut down. Um, of course. I'm going to include this card and the penguin card. And this one says, you have done, you have done enough to be loved. It's a little hard to see because the marble, but it's foiled. That's what it's called. And let's do the green for this, which is very pretty together. 
I was hoping to get my hands on little candy canes to include, but they probably would have smashed anyway. And honestly, who eats a candy smashed candy cane from a stranger past me? <laughs> because I would totally do that. Um, so let's just pretend there's candy canes in there. Okay, Candace, let's see. I'm gonna guess seven. Four, not even close. So for the last two months or so, we've just been doing what we call rehab. Um, like, do you want to rehab in bed together? Like, oh, that sounded not that. <laughs> um, which means like, depending on how he's feeling, it's either we can't watch or do anything. Like just, just like back rubbing or touching his head or putting ice on him, just depending on how he's feeling. If he's feeling good enough to watch QVC, we watch QVC, we've watched a lot of QVC. And then sometimes he does okay and he plays guitar that just started. And he's just in a low level pain and I'm glad he's only in a low level pain. So life has changed very drastically, very quickly. We have some great friends and neighbors. He wasn't, Bear wasn't okay even to speak on the phone for a while. So I was staying in contact with a lot of his friends. Um, but we did, we did great. Everything, we are very, very lucky to live a life. Thank you, Candace, where I can put everything on hold um, fairly quickly and just shut everything down. My mom and sister offered to fly down but honestly, I mean, Walmart delivers, everything was, was coming to us. So it wasn't past being with him. There wasn't really anything to be done, but they would have absolutely done that in a heartbeat. This is the next item that sold. This is to Debbie in New Hampshire. I rarely have anything to sell in New Hampshire. It is, it's fairly lightweight, like this is metal, but this isn't like, I don't know what this is. I put faux turquoise. I mean, it, it looks faux turquoise -y. I don't know. I put long. Did I put long? No, I didn't put long. I'm glad. I put 24 inches. That's where that hits. So, I'm trying to think what box. Let's put this in one of these boxes. It's a little big for it, and it doesn't match perfectly, but it's uh, still pretty. So a couple days ago, he started feeling just slightly better. They called in a stronger um, Xanax, I'm just gonna say it. Uh, and that helped some. So I started to take pictures again and I'm starting to feel a little better. And I will tell you more about that here shortly. We have to decide on tissue paper and Have we used? I don't think, I can't remember which one we've used. Well, you know what, let's do the little house. Little house with cars in the snow, which it's like 80 degrees today. Is it 80 degrees? There are people in the pool. There's people in the pool all the time here because it's a heated pool, but still, I don't know. I'm wearing long sleeves and today we went out for a little bit and I had on a jacket. It just seems so cold. <laughs> It's 66, so I mean, no, it is eight o'clock at night. But. My sister and mom and brother and most of my family live up north. They all live in Pennsylvania and the rest of my family is mostly in New York. So sometimes in the summer, my sister will message me and be like, it's 90 degrees here. And I'm like, it's 86 here. But then you get to the winter time and the 10 day here, we're mostly in the high 70s, low 80s, which is very nice. It's not hot though, it's like a, a non-humid 80. And there, they're getting snow, and that's just too big of a difference. And as much as I like the thought of snow and wearing a pom-pom hat and going skiing, which I've never once done in my entire life, um, yeah, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> in reality, no, let's not do that. Let's get some black ribbon to bring out the darker bits of this tissue paper. Make it a little bit more dramatic. 
the Dilson Roberts 2023 catalog should be coming out soon. That's who I get my tissue paper from. And I keep looking and I, every time I look like today I had makeup on, but usually I look I, that's like me without makeup, but way worse. Um, not that anybody would care, but I keep thinking, oh, thank goodness it's not yet here because I look terrible and I would have to film right now because I have no self-control and I would just want to watch, listen to the cat, listen to the catalog, read, read the catalog. So let's check. Jilson Roberts catalog. That's so pretty. Okay. Uh, that wasn't the catalog. It was just a print. Okay. Nope. They don't have the, they don't have it yet. They still have the 2022, so we'll still have to wait. Let's do the green with that. Very holiday y. And because I'm filming on my phone, I'm wondering if my phone is just gonna overheat or tell me. So far I went 41 minutes, so so I don't know how how much my phone will record. So she paid $9.99. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess everybody bought stuff on sale. So probably about $8 and $3.99 shipping. And it is 2.4, so we round up to three. So $3.98. I could probably raise my shipping rates if I really wanted to. But hopefully they come back down after the holidays. I think I heard I heard uh somebody say that. Maybe they won't. Maybe I'll eventually. It just seems like for a lightweight thing, almost four dollars. I don't know. So the only other thing I have to do is the ring, which I'm going to have to go get because we were going to not send Betty. Oh, this must be about my size. It feels so weird. Bear had an MRI the other day for his spine, and they let me go in with him because he you know, anxiety was freaking out. Um, and I, when I say that, I really mean like not good. I don't mean, I mean really freaking out. So they let me like actually go and like hug him in the machine, which was so sweet. The woman was so sweet, but I didn't realize they would let me in. <laughs> and not that I wear jewelry, but she's like, take out your hair tie, take out, like I had like one of these little clips, these plastic clips and she's like, yeah, this part here, the metal is going to get like sucked into the machine and like your hair is going to get not pulled out. It's not that aggressive, but she's like just everything. I'm like, oh, yikes. Well, okay. <laughs> there goes my hair. Okay, I'll be back. I just bought all of the rings. I think, I hope all of the rings. Okay, so we are looking for... A black stone, I think it's a heart. Oh, some of these are so pretty. Oh, that's it, found it. Put you all back in there. None of these are worth like thousands and thousands of dollars, so please don't come rob me. Not that you were planning to, but. Okay, so this is headed to Betty Ann, I'm gonna pronounce it. It might be, and I recognize her, and I'm sure she's told me how to say her name before, but I, my brain, sorry. It could be Bet, Bet Ann, but I'm guessing it's Betty. Um, and she is in Connecticut. Okay, so here is her ring. It has a black heart, it's the same size. It's not, slightly smaller. This must be about a six. Um, there's little rhinestones and it's a golden color. So we will take a little bit of foam and just put it through there. And I am doing rather well. I was exhausted, not because of bear. I was just exhausted. So the doctor said, let's do your blood too, because I was eating vending machine food there for a little bit. I hadn't planned on being in the hospital and they told me visiting hours were over at eight, which is fine. I had 
no qualms about that because he didn't have anxiety at that time. So I had prepared to leave at eight and then they told me, no, no, you can stay over. We'll bring a bed in for you. We'll, we'll get your toothbrush. And I'm like, are you sure? Like, I don't want to, they were like, no, you're being really helpful. And they had people all over the place in the hospital, like all over the place. And I was like, okay. But then they let me stay for the first three nights. <laughs> I hadn't planned on staying for three nights. And I'm sure I could have left. I did probably leave at one point and come home and then go right back. But, um, so food, and he was, he couldn't eat, of course, because the pain. So I was just eating whatever. I, I'm so sick and so tired. My body doesn't do well with just whatever food, as we all know. So my doctor was like, let's run some blood work. So sure enough, vitamin D was super low and vitamin B12, which I take supplements anyway for those things, but they're always low. I take a lot of supplements and like good supplements. I spend a decent, for me, a decent amount. I'm sure like the Kardashians are spending tens of thousands of dollars and here am I, I'm spending dozens of dollars on supplements. But so they gave me injections and then they gave me injections to bring home so Bear could do injections. And then they said my testosterone was um, in the negatives, which I didn't know was a thing. Uh, let's do these cards. This one says, I love this one. It's like raised, but shiny raised. I love that. It says one kind word can warm three winter months. This was this card from last year I had designed. I designed most of my cards. And it's a Japanese proverb. I was trying to catch that like embossing. And then on the back, it says snowflakes are one of nature's most fragile things, but just look at what they can do when they stick together. And then I put a few little snowflakes and we will do the reindeer card. I don't think those are going to fit. We'll do those on the back. Um, so the doctor said, now this wasn't covered in insurance. The blood work was, but the doctor said that they could, this was a different doctor. It's a long story. It's a boring story. Um, do a testosterone pellet. Like they put it in my rear and a fatty part of me um, and my rear is nice and fatty so yay me and they put in a testosterone pellet that like slowly dissolves for lack of a better word um over a few months to try to get my testosterone up and i was tired tired like tired not even mentally two is two ounces and they paid $5 for the ring and I'm sure $3.99 for shipping. Let's see, $3.99 for shipping and my cost is $3.98. So let's hit print. Um, so it like slowly leaks into your body and gets your testosterone up and I was tired mentally, but I can deal with mental type. I, I'm fine mental tired. I could go, I'm not even, it just sounds like bragging, but I can go a couple nights without sleep and really be okay-ish. But this was like, my body was heavy. The underneath my skin where like my muscle layer is felt so weighted down. Like my whole body felt like a weighted blanket, like under my skin, tired. That's like exhaustion, exhaustion. It was, it was a lot of work to get out of Bed, my body felt so tired. So they did the vitamin B and vitamin D, which should have kicked in within a week, and it did. And then the testosterone, and they'll check me uh, in a couple weeks, six weeks from the original testosterone. But it was like five hundred dollars, which is pricey for insurance not to cover it. Let me tell you. And I'm not like a spend five hundred dollars on anything kind of girl. My wedding dress was on clearance for like $120, but I was tired. Thank you, Betty. And I feel good. It's been about two weeks. I've had more bears injected me a couple times with B12 and vitamin D. And I do feel that layer underneath my skin, my whole body. I'm guessing it's my muscles. I do feel like it's getting more oxygen. That's how I'm gonna explain that. So, win for the injections, which of course if your B12 and your vitamin D is down, but I just can't get enough in me without the injections. I've had them both before. 
And that is how we're doing. We're doing okay. I listed yesterday and then I took photos today. Who am I? I'm a completely different person um, than I was just even a few weeks ago. And I'm doing okay. And Bear's doing as well. I really, he's trying, he's just trying so hard. He's doing as, as well as he could be doing with what's happening. I fully, fully believe it. And I, the man is just trying. The last thing we're gonna do, and when I say last thing, um, this could take a while, but I know some people like longer videos. I wanna cover up this person's address because this came from a viewer and it came, I think, in September, and I'm so sorry it took me so long. I've messaged her a few times just to let her know because I said, do you want me to open this on camera? Do you want me? And she said, yeah, open it on camera, but don't say my name or anything. So I'm not going to. I think I have everything covered on this box. She sent me two boxes, two boxes. Well, this, I think we'll do okay here. Of, I think jewelry. But it came in September and then things started to go bad quickly. Did you send me ribbon? And there's two boxes, like two big boxes. <gasps> oh, oh my God, <laughs> there's so much in here. Oh, oh, this is so pretty. This middle one where the polka dots are too, is woven, like this design is woven into, these are really pretty. Some lace, like white lace. Could have used that for today's. Okay, let's take everything out. You have it labeled? This, I can't even imagine how long this took you. This took you hours. Oh my goodness. Oh, please don't feel like you ever have to do this, but thank you. All bracelets. This is so sweet of you. I can't go through every one, obviously. This one's an Alex and Ani with an E. Look at all these bangles. Like, oh my goodness. Oh, these are fun. Like zigzags that fit into each other and jewel, jewel tones. Oh, these will be so much fun to photograph. I, I was gonna say Easter egg, but I don't think the colors, they're more like jewel, jewel colors. I, I, <laughs> there's more Alex and Ani. Look at the amount of bracelets in here. This is just one bag out of two boxes. <laughs> there's no words. Ooh, these are really pretty too. I, thank you so much. Oh, these have like little charms on them. Oh, it's a charm bracelet. That, that wasn't a bangle. That was just a charm bracelet. Okay, let's put these back because she she wrote bracelets on it. Thank you. I put them as, as neatly as I can. Okay, so there's an Alex and Ani, and there's an Alex and Ani, and there's an Alex and Ani. So this one is a cross. This one is an angel. Oh, the angel's so cute. Oh, it's cherub. And this one is the E. And we have some more colored and metal. This one's pretty too. And Taylor. This one looks like it's her tiny wrists. Oh yeah, no, that's okay. Because it opens up. My fist is too big usually, but um, and then this one looks like possibly sterling. It's a chain. I know I have to go quickly. This one has lamp work beads on it. Very pretty. Oh, this one has money bags, vintage telephones, and ballet slippers. What is the correlation between ballet slippers, old fashioned telephones, like rotary phones, and money bags? Well, that's an odd one. I. My brain's usually really good at coming up with stuff like that. I think this one's marked too. Huh. 
Anybody have any ideas? <laughs> the ballet slippers is throwing me. Or like, yeah, I, in fact, I'm so boggled. Um, ballet slippers, telephone, and money bags, charm bracelet. See if anything comes up. <laughs> Did anything come up? Nope, imagine that. Not a single thing. I have the world's only charm bracelet. Yeah, no. So interesting. Oh, this one has like really pretty, I think almost Swarovski, maybe Swarovski. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Okay, I'll put these non-Easter egg chevron ones back in. Okay, next one. All brooches and pins. Oh, this was too much. This is vintage. That's really pretty. That's, this is, I think this, oh, I love this one. Oh, I love this one so much. Okay, I might keep that one. These are, oh, <laughs> these are way too nice. Like, this is too much. Have they said that yet? Oh, I love this one too. You're stuck. Oh, oh, the colors. Look at the green. It's like an avocado green and then like that peachy color. And this, this is like an old yellow kind of faded buttercupy color. Oh, it almost reminds me of an egg and I don't know why. And it's so pretty. Oh, fox. Maybe. Oh, no animals. A lot of these are vintage. I I can't even imagine this one's brand new, made in Korea. Oh, oh, it's a Christmas tree. This one's marked too, with like little candles on it. They're all so fun. This one's hand painted. Let's look at the rhinestone. I don't know if that's coming off. All of those are individually hand set rhinestones. What? There's so many. Oh, oh, I love this one too. Okay, the flowers had something special, but like this swan. Swan, he is judging me hard, or she. I don't know swans. So fancy. Good thing I have makeup on. That swan would have judged me harder. Uh, there's so many wreaths, and I don't even know what this one is. It's like a real feather with sequins in it. That looks like a real feather. Like somebody poured, I, it can't be resin. I don't know. It's almost like domed. Okay. Um, trying to, ooh. <laughs> this one has a moving bow. Look how pretty that is. I'm not wearing the right shirt for this. Pretend that doesn't say US. US stands for universal standard. Oh, this one's really pretty. Ooh, it's, it's translucent. It's like pieces of glass in there. There's so many. Oh, I like this one too. This one has a locket. I forget what these are called. They have like little bars on the back and have a locket. A double-sided locket. Okay. There's like four or five. Oh, this one has a tiny little cameo. Okay, I have to get through the rest of these. There's a stick one with a sunflower. Oh, how, how did you escape? I didn't see you yet. You're out of the back. Uh, I don't, this is my phone. I don't know how to do this and it's got blue tape on it. There's like little daisies making up three circles or maybe some kind of, I'm gonna say Celtic knot. It's probably. 
Okay, I think I think the egg daisy, and this one was my favorite. <laughs> egg daisy a whole lot. It's probably not a daisy. I don't know flowers. Pins are always so fun to me. I don't wear pins. I don't wear jewelry at all, but pins are just so decorative. My hair or something. Okay. This one's really pretty too. I showed you that one. Okay. We won't show you that one again. Okay. Next. This one is all earring pairs. You paired up the earrings? separate pairs but this one's like a black swirl and this one's like neon shell green these are gonna be so much fun to go through oh these are snakes I think they're snakes oh oh some of them are so fancy the shine like these really shimmer like in real life, the light hits them and they're they're just all sparkly. Okay. I'm not, there's no way I'm going to be able to show you all of these. Oh, see the hats! Because we have all the other box. This should have been its own separate video. I had no idea. I, it's a brand new Betsy Johnson watch. I... I've seen a watch like this. Does this say something? I think it says something. W Italy. Something, something W Italy. Oh, here we go. B R E V. Made in Italy. B R E V. It looks like a book. Is it a watch? Oh, it's like a keychain. It's like a leather binding and a little buckle. Is that somebody's picture? It's just beautiful. Does anybody know this person? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that's my aunt. I wonder if it's a stock photo. No, it looks like a real picture. How cool is that? Um, actually, I know this name. This is Peony Bird. P, P E, Y. That can't be how you pronounce that. I'm sorry for butchering that. Peony Bird watch yeah yeah these this is a nice watch oh, look at this one it's like real green ribbon oh this one's so cool oh this one looks like 60s or something where was this made This one's cool. I don't wear watches, but I got serious about that watch. This is a pendant watch? So many watches. Okay, keep going. Rhinestones. Oh, this one's cool too. Oh, this one's really cool. Tommy Hilfiger. Oh, it's like a diving watch almost. The back is open, but I just wear this for, I mean, just clout. Is that, is that what the kids say? Clout. Um, I, I, there's just a lot of watches. Oh, this is LEI. Huh. I used to have LEI jeans. Oh, I wonder if this is the back of, yes, this is the back of the watch I just said. You can wear it for clout. Huh. Now you can wear it for clout and have the back. Relic. Ooh, fossil, but like fun elongated bracelet style. This is a charm. I'm about to wrap my uh, niece's Christmas present. She's 13. 
and some of this might be going to her just for fun. Maybe not. Maybe I'll wait until after Christmas. This one's made in Denmark. I've never heard of the brand. Denmark. S-K-A-G-E-N Denmark. Watch. Skagen. It looks like it sells at like Macy's and Nordstrom. It's cool. It's got like a mesh strap. Okay. Keep going. Keep going, me. This one's pretty too. It's fossil with ab abalone shell. Ooh. Faded Glory. That's cracking me up because this is such a fancy looking watch. It's got like Mother of Pearl. Faded Glory. It's got like Marcusite. Marcusite? Marcusite? Oh, I love this one too. Okay, this one might be my favorite. Quartz. Even my eyes can't do that one. Hong Kong. There is a brand. D. I can't read it. It's super thin, like really dainty looking. Okay, last one. Seiko, the brown leather shrimp. Thank you. I'm just gonna keep saying thank you because this is way too much. And you are my favorite person of the moment. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna save a little one for last. Okay, this are bracelets. Oh my goodness, more bracelets. Birch? Oh, it's magnetic. Yeah, I think this one is a birch. I don't know if it's real or not, but so many bracelets. Oh, just a magnet. It's like, why is that magnetic? Airy American Eagle. Some stretch bracelets. Some gorgeous bracelets. Let's see if I can. Oh, I think I've sold this bracelet before. Yeah, there's a heart inside. That's how I know. I don't know the brand of it, but it's like, it's, it's brass maybe. There's so much in here. I can't believe I have a whole nother bag to go. I, well, look how fun this one is, the colors. They're all different. They're all different. We've got all sorts of bangles. Like, look at this one. I'm sure it's not going to pick up, but like each flower is like a little molded flower. This one's brand new. These, these are cool. These are cool. This one looks like a watch band, but it's just a bracelet. Oh, here's another zigzaggy one. Huh. You belong with the other ones. Ooh, oh, oh. This one has like a bell inside. This one's cool. It's not gonna fit over me. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be back at the hospital cutting this off. This one's super cool. It's it's like heavy brass. Hollow heavy brass. That one's so, oh, that one's going to be annoying. But someone will get that. There's a few places I still have to go before the holidays, so um, I'll just, like, include that. This one's so dainty. The little hearts. Oh, okay, I like this one, too. There's little ribbons. This one looks hand-painted. So many bracelets. This one reminds me of dragonfly wings almost. That's what we're gonna call that one. Uh, I mean, there's just so many, so many. Thank you. If I see any, I mean, there's a lot. Oh, these are mm, CH something something. I've sold these. They're very thin, delicate, um, like hand painted. I have to look that up. But uh, I can usually do pretty well for for the. These are this one's really nicely done too. Um, but pretty well. I mean, like I don't know, maybe eight or nine dollars. But like for one single a bracelet, I like the airy one a whole lot too. This one has a. 
unique bead, like a wire cage. Yeah, I very much, I'm not, I'm not a girl who would wear this, but like gorgeous. Just because it would bother my skin. Oh, the other day, one of my friends, one of my best friends, is in from the Netherlands. She has a house here and a house in the Netherlands. Um, she's in for almost two weeks. So we saw each other last week. Bear was, it was the day of the MRI. So we had the MRI, knocked him out afterward, and then I went since he was sleeping, and he was okay. He said he was okay. Um, so then I went to kind of like a late breakfast with her, and I had vegan pancakes, and nowhere on it did it say it was had bananas, and I'm not allergic to bananas, but I had hived so badly all up. I sent my picture, a picture of my sister, like all up and down. And I called them, like, did this have bananas in it? And they're like, yeah. I was like, I'm not allergic to bananas, but this could have been really bad. Like, bears allergic to bananas. So many people have allergies, and they're like, yeah, it was the binding agent. And I was like, okay, well, I just want to let you know, like, I. I'm fine, everything's fine, but you might want to put that on the menu. Like, people are allergic to stuff. He's like, well, if you were allergic, you should have asked. I'm like, oh no, you were right. I'm not putting this on you, but I just thought I would let you know, but no. Oh, this is all, this is all silver? She sent me an entire bag of silver. Like, silver. Oh, some singular earrings. Some rings without actually this is a pair oh but the post broke off I see so this is all scrap um, I was wondering yeah the earrings can definitely be turned into silver um, rings that's what that is this one is is not scrap this one has all of the stones and it's a heart this one's really pretty yeah that's really pretty I mean, everything's been really pretty, but it is like a garnet, maybe. My birthstone is garnet, and I never liked it, but I don't wear jewelry now, so it's not that I like it or don't like it. I don't think about it. But thank you for doing that. That's quite a bit of silver. I have another bag. I, this is going to be long, and I'm going to do the other box, not a bag. I realized I can just open this from the bottom so nobody sees labels. <laughs> I beat you, box. So my friend's still in town, so we're going to, Bear has a dental appointment tomorrow. I was gonna say dental surgery, but that doesn't sound right. It's not surgery, surgery. We'll save that, bubble wrap. Um, so I'll go with him again to say anxiety. Is a lot. She said one box was all necklaces, and look how nicely she packed this, like really nicely. So let's put that aside and go through some of these. So we'll um, calm him down again, and I'll sit with him. Our dentist is amazing with me, so I know she'll be amazing with him as well. Oh, it's like a double sided. Is this Lucky? It is Lucky. <laughs> That's the brand. I knew as soon as I saw the double sided, it's beautiful. Yeah, both of them are double-sided. That's really pretty. Seriously, this was so sweet of you. So sweet of you. I haven't been thrift shopping in, well, who knows how long. Definitely not in the last two months. There's there's so much in here. And she, like, individually was so sweet. This one's Coldwater Creek. Really pretty. This was so sweet of you. Um... This will keep me going for months, seriously. I, I don't want to take them all out, but like, this one's really heavy. That's cool. Oh, oh, there's rhinestones in the back. There's like three, three rhinestones, three rhinestones, three rhinestones. This one's a set, a cameo set in gold. I think I've sold this one before. That's so funny to me. There's so many different pieces of jewelry and I've been selling jewelry now for like, I don't know, maybe five years or so. This one's branded too. Ooh. What's like one of those convertible? You can wear it long, you can wear it knotted, you can wear it layered. It is. 
Oh, it's Premier Designs. The bag was right. Oh, it's sparkly, kind of. It's really pretty. It's very lightweight. I wouldn't mind that sound. Like the sound isn't annoying at all to my ears. So we're gonna go out to eat again tomorrow after Bear is back from the dentist. Because she goes back to the Netherlands and it's snowing there now. Um, next week, this week. Chico's, this is beautiful. The piece wrapped in like straw raffia and there's a matching Ooh, I could be this, I could be this girl who wears like just layered lag and look pieces. I recently got on a linen kick, um, probably because I was in the hospital with a lot of times on my hands. I was like, you know what I need? I need like a long linen jacket. Who am I? I am, I am the person who does not need a long linen jacket, but I now have two and I've worn them actually. So they have come in handy. My mom and I were talking the other day about most of my shirts end at just a normal shirt length. That was Chico's. And a lot of times with leggings, you need a little bit, I need, not everybody does, a little bit of a longer shirt. And none of my shirts, most of my shirts aren't long. This one's really pretty too. I bet you that would be Chico's. Who makes you? Oh, Premier Designs. That's a really good brand. Um, I've done well with it in the past. It has a, a decent following. And my mom was saying the same thing. And I'm like, like we need little extenders. And then I realized I had linen, linen jackets. I could just throw a linen jacket over it. This is Lauren Conrad, I think, or Liz Claiborne. <gasps> Ooh, <laughs> this is so fancy. Here, I'll, I'll put it back in and then I'll let you. Ooh, look at this fancy box. You see the two strips of blue tape? There's like blue tape all over my phone. Ah, I think it's a pin. It's a pin. Picture yourself in, oh, there's like a picture frame. Oh, cute marketing. It is, it's a brooch. There's like a little picture yourself. So cute. Oh, oh, this is simple. I like this a lot. Yeah, very nice. Very chic. There's so much in here. She wrapped every single piece. That's crazy. Leah Sophia. And I hadn't sent a thank you card. I almost always send a thank you card almost immediately because I didn't. She knew what was happening. I messaged her and let her know what the craziness that was happening here. Um, this is gorgeous. I'm trying not to. But now I can send a thank you card. So fun. This one's almost fully re Oh, it's so colorful on that side. Um, the back of it is all silver, so you can wear it all silver or like... Oh, the colors are so pretty. I'm trying. Oh, fun. This is what the TikTok was talking about. The TikTok that was like had a million. She's like, statement necklaces I bought in 2011. And she had like receipts with pictures. And she's like, I wore a ton of these bubble necklaces. And we all did. I think we all had these necklaces. But they're coming back in style. She said next year, these will be back in style. And I don't know who this girl is, but I kind of believe her because they've been out of style, whatever that means. Um, but I fully believe that because things come back in style and now that I am almost 43, next month I'll be 43, this is, this is beautiful. The color variation, you're not going to be able to see it. It goes from like a sagey, it looks emerald. It's, it's actually like sage in person. Should I, should I pretend I know what I'm doing and turn off my light? Can I turn off my light? Does that help at all? See how, anyway. And then it gets darker. That's all I was trying to say. What else did she say was back? Like pants with mini skirts to attach them. I don't know what those were called originally. Peplums are supposed to be back, which I don't follow any of this, so I wouldn't know that anything went out of style. 
and I don't see teenagers or children very often, or anybody for that matter. Chicos, ooh, okay, see? Little annoying to my ears, a little too jingle belly, but this is stu This is truly stunning. Chicos did a good job designing this. I bet you this was like 50 to $100. It's really pretty. Gorgeous, seriously. J. Crew, another one of those like statement necklaces that'll be, ooh, what is like crackle glass? This one's pretty too. Back in style. Leia Sophia. I, were these yours? I'm, when you said you were sending me boxes of jewelry, I did not expect this. Oh, love this one too. Almost looks like liquid, um, like liquid silver. Ooh. Can you tell if I'm watching QVC? Oh. Baron and I almost ordered another Dyson though. I have to say, <laughs> they were, uh, we have a Dyson, uh, the V7, so it's years old. And um, I got it on Amazon for like 200 and something dollars years ago. And we love it. We love it so much. But I have a lot of hair and it gets caught, so we wind up, this is really pretty too. I'm just gonna say about everything. We wind up, actually this is marked. But yeah, that is sterling just by the way that's marked. Maybe not, it's not super heavy. Um, we were watching and they had like a cyber whatever special Black Friday, whatever they called it. And they're like, this one is tangle free and it's the V8 and did some other things and we were like, we were cracking ourselves up because we've been watching QVC because QVC is on all the time on YouTube. You just type in QVC and it's live and they have three live channels and QVC, if you are having any kind of anxiety, they are positive all of the time and they're on all of the time. And if you need distracted, it's a pretty decent distraction. They go on and on about the same thing for like 10 minutes. So you just have to look at the screen once and you know what the thing is. And then like they describe it and Bear and I were playing the game of like how quickly they swayed us. <laughs> so they'd be like, look at this candle, it's $65. And we'd be like, yeah, we don't need the 65. But then they would start to describe the thing and whoever said like, I'm in, and it would almost always be me. And we were like, oh, oh, okay, we're in. Like, but we never, we didn't buy anything. But the Dyson almost, we were both in almost immediately. That's really pretty too. I love this. Is this vintage? This is probably vintage. Gorgeous. I'm not going fast again. I can't talk and and go through things. <laughs> but anyway, that was the fun game we were playing when he wasn't in excruciating pain. This is another Premier Designs, lots of Premier Designs. Did I show this one? Oh, see, not bad. I wouldn't love it, but it's not. See, you can tell the difference. Not, not as annoying as the Jingle Bells. This is Silpata, maybe? Oh, Sterling Silver Israel. That's really pretty. <laughs> it's like a drinking game of how many times I can say this is really pretty. I feel like I'm going to tangle these up. Today I came across a 24 karat gold necklace that Thread Up had shipped me for a trillion years ago whenever I ordered those. And I had found it originally and set it aside because it had a knot. And today I was like, okay, I have time. I could unknot that thing and it took me a long, long time. It probably took me like half hour to get this knot. It was really in there. It was a lot of fun. I have no idea where I was going with that story. No idea. The end. Okay. Ooh. Another locket. Is it a real locket? It is a real locket. It's a double, a double locket. Look how big it is. You can probably fit like an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half um, picture frame. Picture. Lockets are so sweet. Like you like the person enough to put it around your, ooh, put it around your neck and like wear it. She goes, 
guess I could do that for a dog. Everybody else I either see or like have on my phone. But look, it's, I just, mm, this is really nice. Yes, yeah, Sophia, these are, you have exceptional taste. I, exceptional, and thank you. I, I don't know this one. B-A-E-R, and then it says S-F underneath. It's pretty heavy. It's like real rocks or something. I'm sure they have it here. Pretty. I have two more videos in mind, past shipping videos. I'm just shipping, sitting down, pulling the items. Sometimes I'm doing it at like 2 a.m. because I've been staying awake with Bear with the anxiety. At night it gets bad. Um, so it's just happening when it happens. And I shut off eBay for so long, but I have a video. I ordered Christmas cards. Every year I collect Christmas cards throughout the year because we send out about a hundred Christmas cards. Some of these are so pretty. And every year we say we're going to cut down and of course we don't. And what's a couple more Christmas cards when you're sending them? We have people call us. I think this is Liz Claiborne or Lauren Conrad again. That's like pretty end caps. It's not what those are called. So I collect Christmas cards and this year I was like short a couple Christmas cards and I had almost a hundred Christmas cards. So I went on and I found 2,000 Christmas cards, 2,100 Christmas cards for $110 plus shipping, but shipping was like 40 bucks. So like $150, $160 of tax. And they came today and the box is big. <laughs> so I have to go through them. I don't know if I'm gonna do that on camera or not. And some of them are really vintage. So some of them will get sold. This is really pretty. This is Premier Designs too. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see like the darkened detail of them. I haven't opened it. Ooh. Oh, there's a little bow on some faux pearls. I haven't opened it. And I thought if I need a video, if, if I feel up to another premier designs, really pretty design. How can there be so many different pieces of jewelry? Right? It's like thousands and thousands of different kinds of jewelry. Ooh, pretty. I don't know that this one is marked, but it has like a faux pink crystal. I thought it would be fun to open up the Christmas cards together. Okay, this one's my favorite. I haven't seen the rest of them. There's still a good bit, but this one's my fake. I don't see a mark. It's got a really cool box clasp. It looks old. No, that's gonna, it's like 3D-ish. Hold on. It looks like a piece of almost chewing gum. <laughs> and it comes to a point. It's so pretty. I got serious there. So that was one of my thoughts. Oh, this is heavy. Oh my goodness, this is heavy. What are these made out of? They're not real. Glass, I guess. I don't tangle these back up since she did such a nice job. And then the other thought I had, and Bear could possibly be in this video with me, maybe in the future, maybe if he's feeling well enough. I thought about doing it for Christmas. I've been keeping track. This is, you just have to, please, I've been keeping track, I'm just gonna say it, of everything that makes me happy in a list and it's like when you're walking when you're walking in a forest and you come across like a tiny little leaf that's different shapes than the other leaves or like a tiny little piece of like ivy wrapped around a tree trunk this just brings me like so much joy I get like a little bubble of joy in my chest so I've been keeping track of I don't think I went through this one um Oh no, I did, I did, I remember you. We, we did that one, I remembered it. Um, keeping track of lists, and now I have like probably 50 to 100 items, and none of them are actual things. They're not like tissue paper or stickers or necklaces or whatever. They're just actual 
non-things in the real world that make me happy. I, I don't know. I've been keeping track of it for me instead of like a thankful journal or what you appreciate about today. I just, I wanted to keep track of what made me happy for a little bit just to see if I could track something or if, I don't know. I was really not feeling well there for a while. Okay. This one I love. It is fossil. It's really pretty. It's a rose gold with like a... Um, see how shiny they are? The color is like a gunmetal-y color, but they're almost mirrored. Are you mirrored? No. They just catch the light. They're faceted. Really pretty. Look how pretty that is. Another layered piece. Leah Sophia. Oh, this reminds me of bubbles. Like bubble bath bubbles. Brand new, another Leah Sophia. Another layered piece. And we have one more in here and then a bunch more. And another Leah Sophia. Very pretty. I thought I was going to do that during a shipping video, but if I, if unless I'm talking about the thing that's in front of me, I lose track too quickly of what I'm talking about, as we all know. This one's got a separate bag. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a twist. It's old. Anything with a twist is old in my mind. Um, it's like a collar. It feels cold, so I'm guessing it's like real rock or stone it's really pretty the variations in person oh it's very cold it's like ice pack cold very pretty. <laughs> okay there's the rest of them we're getting there okay this one is very dainty and very sweet this one might head to my niece it is leo sophia Maybe it's too sweet for her. She's not like the girliest girl. Maybe it's too sweet. I don't know. Love this one. Love the colors. They're all like shades of turquoise and sea glass and mermaid colors. Ooh, is this J. Crew? This reminds me of J. Crew. I don't know who this is. Has clasps on both sides. What is that? This one, you're not going to be able to see it. It has a lot of sparkle in the in the triangle-y part. Yeah, really pretty. And if you watch my mom, you know my sister got a new dog maybe a month ago or so. This one has a wolf. Who is this real? I don't know. I couldn't tell real crystal from resin crystal. I'm guessing it's resin, but it has a wolf howling at the moon. I love this one. Not for me, but somebody is going to adore that. And she keeps sending me pictures and he's getting bigger and bigger, but he's still so little. Oxley, they call him. This one's long. Oh, it's like little feathers. Oh, it's color. <laughs> my side, it wasn't colored. Oh, my side is just that, but then nope, color. Okay. Is this a bowl, bolo tie? A bowl? feels well made, whoever did it. It's like a slide, a slide necklace, almost. See, who thinks of these things? Who's designing jewelry? You're doing a good job, everybody designing jewelry. Another Premier Designs. Did you have a store that went out of business? I think it's another locket. I like when things have surprises. Or maybe you, you keep your perfume in here or something? Maybe I don't know how the this works. Okay, it's got to open. Come on, come on. Ah! Oh, I think it's perfume! No? Oh, I think it's perfume. Oh! <laughs> it smells slightly powdery, but don't let that... Ignore the word powdery now that I've said it, because... Okay, know the way that blood tastes. 
like kind of metallic and kind of like bitter. <laughs> kind of, maybe it's just the metal. Maybe, maybe I'm just spelling metal. It's almost got like a hospital smell to it with like, with a metallic powder scent. Is that helping anybody? That's what that smells like. I wonder what was actually in here. Like if this is an Avon or a whatever, I'm sure I can do a Google um, image search. It's really pretty. And it's not a bad smell. It's just a very unusual smell. Ooh. I like the surprise box. <laughs> Very pretty. This one's like two different sugar fix. Sugar, yeah, sugar fix. Two different size um, chains. This one's like a regular chain. This one has like rectangles and dangly bits. It must go, uh, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it's just that. Oh yeah, maybe it's meant to hang down like that. Let's smell that again. Okay. Is it wax? It very much smells avon -y, but like, like a men's medicinal powdery, almost acid scent. I don't want to tangle that one. We'll leave that one aside. Some of these are big enough that they won't tangle. I'm trying not to touch my face too much. Okay. Okay, then some of these are wrapped. Whoa. Ooh, this one's cool. It's like shabby chic almost. I love that everything's the same color. And again, it's picking up very blue almost, but it's very much green in real life. I mean, it is a bluish green, but very cool. Oh, another statement. This one is J. Crew. I'm sure I don't actually have to move every time I move. It's just the tape is right there, so I can't see myself. This one is Lucky. Three little, not bad, not bad jingle. We'll take it. This one feels nice. Uh, I don't recognize that. I don't think it's Premier Designs. It's a sunflower with a little leaf and a stem. I don't recognize this. It's like metal balls that were dipped in like a black paint almost. It's heavy. Coldwater Creek. Very pretty. I'm kind of glad my camera didn't work today because I think my phone records better than my camera. Okay. Just a couple more. Two more. This one is packaged by itself. No, it's not. Oh, this is really pretty. Oh, it's a heart clasp. It is sterling silver. This is, it is a, a cube, um, but it's like one of those Aurora Borealis crystal cubes that catches the light and shines kind of like a pinky purple kind of color. And, and yellow too, pretty. And then we have Leah Sophia on a brown leather cord. This glass one will make sure we wrap up really well and put it right back in there because that will crack. Okay, last one. You made it. Oh, <laughs> there's cowboy boots <laughs> with like crystals in them. earrings that's awesome by a 3d belt company good for you 3d belt company this is a j crew lightweight 
long. I like long, then you could just double it if you want or knot it. Oh, I didn't realize this would be one piece. And this is White House Black Market. And which way does this go? I'm not sure. Maybe this part is supposed to be in back. I'm not sure. There's two pieces. One is like a meshy piece and one is a more shaped piece. I don't know. It's very heavy. Though. Thank you so much. This, because there were so many pieces, I will forget about like three quarters of what I just opened. And so when I go through this the second time, at least a second time, I'll be surprised all over again because there's no way my brain remembered every single piece. So that will be loads of fun in the future as well. <laughs> I am going to go because this video is really long and I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a very happy holiday, as happy as your holiday can be, no matter what you're going through, and you have moments of joy and moments where your emotions are valid, and I don't even know what else to say. I hope you have the best holiday season. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hello, I'm Melissa and I'm filming on my cell phone because this is what my camera looks like and I turn it on and it says there's a lens error and that I have to shut it off and restart it and I don't know how to restart it. <gasps> it worked. I swear I've filmed this intro like three times. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, lens error. We'll shut down. Oh, I should have been good with that. Now I won't. <laughs> now it won't shut again. <laughs> So we're just going to put that over there. You saw it happen. It happened once. Um, and I told Linda I would do this on camera for her, and I want to get this out tomorrow. It is a little pearl necklace, like a little oil slick. And I've been using these amazing um, sterling silver like cleaning cloths to clean the sterling. Friendly footprint. Friendly footprint? I'll have to put her name on the screen or down in the description. Sent them to me and I love them. And they're so much more convenient than anything else I've been using. And I'm sure they're pricey. So when they run out, we'll just have to go back to the old way of cleaning sterling, which is like a sterling dip. It's easy too. It's not as easy as sitting on my desk. So little necklace. Put lots of foam so it's not going anywhere. And I broke out, even though it's it's almost fall. It's August 19th. My stickers, my fall stickers came. I got all of my fall and most of my Christmas supplies. So there's like, oh, look how cute. Little gnomes. This one I'm here, actually it's not too fall-like, it's just a little bird. Just a bird. So there we are, Linda. Linda lives in Maryland and she paid $14. Now I bought a lot of papers. I've been trying to find a supplier to make my own prints. And this is my favorite, not the print, but the quality is there. Um, except the plate fee is very pricey. You're, this is just pretend print. I have a ton of prints in mind. So I am going to go, I think I'm just going to go with gift wrap. This is a very fun gift wrap. And I've got a gajillion acres of it. I don't know what gift wraps in square feet. That's kind of like fall-like. And it's still some Roberts and it's really good quality. That was still too big of a piece though. We will just fold it over. But the problem I'm running into with custom tissue paper is I'd like two new prints a month or at least one new print a month. And the plate fee is very pricey. The tissue paper is nothing. It's like 10 cents a sheet or whatever, which is fine. It's a little bit cheaper than I'm paying now, but when you factor in um, the plate fee, it's like a dollar a sheet. 
because not too many people want that much tissue paper. Usually, you know, a company using tissue paper uses the same tissue paper time and time again, which I don't want. I want lots of different sheets. I want all of the prints of tissue paper, which Jilson Roberts does really well, but their line is a little bit limited. And last year, it was almost impossible, 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 <laughs> impossible to get my hands on it. So I don't know that that's going to be an option for me. Okay. I have a You Are Enough card, of course. This is the thicker one. It's like a triple. It's very thick. And then let's give her the day you plant the seed is not the day you eat the fruit. This is a newer design. And then it has You Are Enough on the very, very bottom. But see how like, oh, I also put a little pineapple by it. Um, how kind of regular, I mean, this one's premium, but like, whoa. We'll take that. And then my bag of goodies. And we'll grab some eye masks. And I wanted to give her, I have a few little umbrellas left from my, there we are, um, summer. My summer supplies, so we'll give her one of those. I don't know why she needs that, but she does. And nobody's seen this one yet. I mean, everybody can order it. It's not mine, it's just Amazon, but first time I'm using it this season. And there we go. And we'll use a little gnome with a pumpkin. Cute, cute, cute. Focus, focus. It is Friday night at 9 13 p.m. We went to the pool just for a little bit today. Three ounces and then Bear had a follow-up on his root canal. Fun stuff in Liquid Ranch which is about half hour away. Uh, so three dollars and 48 cents. Oh, I just realized I don't have my Dymo on. I think I have sticker paper in there so we should be good. So this is going to print to my regular printer and be very noisy. Tomorrow we're hoping to go to the beach. We've been going to Longboat Key. I will um, I'm going to make a little marker for myself to remember. Remember me. Remember editing me. And that was Longboat Key. We've been going there. It's a little, little further. It's about 20, 25 minutes, depending on if the bridge is up. But totally worth it. It's been a swimming pool, a warm swimming pool of gorgeousness. A little thank you sticker. And another little gnome sticker. Thank you so much, Linda. That is the only order I have that needs to go out tomorrow. So I am going to say goodbye and hopefully next time I see you in this video, I will be using my actual camera because you cannot see the space at all. And normally I like to be able to see all of the spaces. So, okay. Bye. Oh, pff. I just realized a pimple patch. You don't care. Bye.